Who's the boss over at top rank when it comes to Bud Crawford? Hmm. Let's talk about it. Straighter. Yep. Not yep. a roundhouse yep. right hand. And that's what we've been talking about. The straight shot. It's exactly. the one where he gets his leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull somebody back for a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight motherfuckers. I do. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as, as long as you're trying to fight the great, that you're or the, the the best competition. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Okay, y'all. So, Bud Crawford is on record telling the world uh, the promoters work for them. He's on record saying that. The promoters work for us. Let your nuts hang or whatever. The promoters work for us. Stop hiding behind the promoter excuse. Um, Is that really the case of top rank with Terrence Bud Crawford? Because if the promoters work for you, then why is Bob Arum still hired? Because Bob Arum has not got you one fight that you've asked for. Why is Bob Arum still hired if they work for you? Now me, I'm a boss. If the people that work for me did not do what I wanted them to do, what I told them to do, what I ordered them to do, what I'm paying them to do, I will fire them and get people that will. That's what bosses do. What's your excuse, uh, Terrence Bud Crawford? If you are a boss, if that's what you are, in that scheme over at Top Rank, where your promoter, you know, like fucking uh, Eddie the Germ Hearn, same type of shit, that scheme, that, that platform, that, that standard of how they operate, your promoter works, your promoter is the one that gets you your fights and all that other shit. With that scheme, how come you still have Bob Arum hired under you if you are the boss? How come Bob Arum killed Manny Pacquiao fight? His words. Would you have reservations if he said, next fight I want Terrence Crawford? Well, I killed the fight. Yeah. So you, would, you wouldn't want that for Manny? No, because I know, would know how it would end. It doesn't it's irrelevant what he how he feels about Manny Pacquiao. That's irrelevant. He works for you. Remember, you're the boss. So if you are the boss and your promoter works for you and you told him to get you a Manny Pacquiao fight and Manny Pacquiao told everybody he wanted 20 million and then met and then Bob Arum, the guy that works for you, killed it. What should you do to Bob Arum? Shouldn't you fire him? Screw you. You're fired. But you can't fire him because you are signed to him. So how are you the boss when you are signed to him under that model? You are signed to Bob Arum in top rank. So if you are signed to Bob Arum in top rank, then you work for them. They are not signed to you. Top rank and Bob Arum are not signed to Terrence Bud Crawford Promotions. Terrence Bud Crawford Promotions or Terrence Bud Crawford in general is signed to top rank, which means you are not their boss. You work for them. That's why Devin Haney Promotions is partnered with Matchroom. That's why the fighter, the fighters on the PBC side are all of them are their own bosses. That is the model that they have over there. Al Heyman is an advisor. Once fights get made, they work with um. Tom Brown promotions to get, or whatever his name is, promotions to get their fights promoted. Once fights get signed, the fighters say, hey, I want to fight this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. 
Then Al just goes to this guy, this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and ask them who they want to fight. And if a number matches, if a name matches up between this guy and this guy, ding, 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 we have a fight. <laughs> That's how the PBC model is. That's how I can honestly, and, and I don't fuck with the PBC like that. I don't. I just, I, fuck, I don't fuck with no platforms. I fuck with the fighters. All right. The PBC is not, oh, it's, I am not pro PBC. All right. I'm not pro top rank. I ain't pro DAZN. I ain't pro matchroom. I ain't pro none of these motherfuckers. P I ain't pro none of them. I am pro fighters because the fighters is who I watch doing their thing. I don't watch the PBC doing anything. I don't watch top rank doing nothing or DAZN doing anything. I don't even know what the fuck they do. Could you put them in the ring to fight? If you could put DAZN in the ring to fight against PBC, if you could put them in the ring to fight, I'll watch it. Otherwise, I don't give a fuck about them. I care about the fighters. And on the PBC side, the fighters have more control of their career. Way more control. Now, Al Heyman may have his fingers in all this shit, uh, trying to maneuver things around or whatever the case may be. But there's still more power with the fighters on the PBC side than it is with any other fucking promotional company. Or, or, or network or, 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 or platform, whatever you want to call it. Cause PBC is not a network. Um, whatever platform the PBC guys, the PBC side has more control over their career than anybody else. Terrence Bud Crawford, you are not a boss. Correction. You are a boss. You're just not your boss. Bob Arum is your boss because if you were a boss and you said you wanted to fight Errol Spence, you know, like you said, tell your tell the tell your people you ain't fighting nobody else but 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 just the fight you want, the fight the fans want. Tell your people this and tell your people that. If that's the case, then why did you fight anybody else? That's the banana in a tailpipe trick. Trick. You're not fooling me. You're not telling the, oh well, you know, listen, uh, let your nuts hang. These guys work for us. You, you wait, just tell the world, tell everybody you don't want to fight nobody else. The only person you want to fight is me and you ain't fighting nobody else and they'll get it done. Then why did you fight Kell Brook? Why did you fight Amir Khan? Why did you fight Jose Benavidez? Why? Because you are not a boss. Now you're telling the world you're, oh, I'm a boss. Oh, this and that, blah, blah, blah. They, they work for us. They work for us and they work for us. And then you're going out there and doing exactly what they tell you to do. Do you know how you say, uh, well, I'm a fighter, man. I don't, you know, I fight anybody they put in front of me. That is not boss, a boss conversation. Saying, uh, 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 do, 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 do. I'm, uh, as my promoter. You're doing the same shit Pacquiao was doing. You'll fight who they put in front of you. How about you put in front of you who you want to fight. How about you do that? Do you know how Errol said, I'm fighting this guy, this guy, and this guy. And when I get all these over here, I'll go see you. He's damn near there. There's one belt left. Ugas. There's one belt left. Ugas. So if anybody is more of a boss in this situ uh, situation, it is Errol Spence. Errol Spence is more of a boss than Terrence Bud Crawford because Errol Spence told the world what he's doing in 2017 before Bud even got to the division. And he has been following his plan and majority of it has been coming to fruition. Now, he didn't get the Pacquiao fight. He didn't get the Thurman fight, but that's because they're PBC fighters and it's on them to say yes to Errol. Remember? You know what I said to you earlier about uh, the fighter say, I want to fight this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And then it requires the other guy to say, okay, yeah, I want to fight this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. And then all Al does is say, okay, well, this guy said he wants to fight this guy. So boom, let's make it happen. That's how it works. I, I, I'm confused how the fuck y'all are not getting this. This is very simple. Terrence Bud Crawford, my nigga. You are a great fighter. You are not a boss. Your boss is Bob Arum. That is your boss. Your boss is the guy that said, um, um, listen, I killed the Manny Pacquiao fight because I know how it ends. It only ends one way. So I'm, I took that from you.
Terrence Crawford. Bob Arum took that from you. Mentis, incendium, gloria, culpum, etc., etc. Memo bis punitor delicatum. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. He took it. And if Terrence Bud Crawford uh, says, I fight who they put in front of him, then why is he saying he's not going to fight Sean Porter? You're saying now you'll fight him. But why were you saying it back then? If your stance is, I'll fight who they put in front of me. Bob Arum said, you could fight Sean Porter. There are plenty of fighters. I mean, uh, Sean, they don't want to, he doesn't want to fight Sean Porter. Porter doesn't want to fight. But Porter was available. Why didn't they put Sean Porter in front of you? Why? Because you said you ain't fighting him. The obvious, but do you want to fight the winner? Uh, man, I want to fight fans. That's what I want to fight. I don't have no ambition or no desire to fight Sean. Me and Sean, we got a history. Uh, you know, so these think that all these stories in conflict are not adding up. You're a boss, but the only boss moves you made, the two boss moves you made, is you said what you ain't doing. You ain't fighting Sean Porter. And you ain't taking 60-40 for Errol Spence. Those are the only boss moves you made. You said, you said what you're not doing. You are not a boss. You work for Top Rank and Bob Arum. That's who pays your bills. That's who you work for. That is your boss. When you start paying yourself, and then you pay Bob Arum and you pay top rank, then you are a boss. That's what you do at the, at the PBC side. The fighters get the bread and then they pay. That's the PBC side. Again, I don't really fuck with no platform, but the model over there is better than what you're dealing with. You are being told who you can fight. You're being match made. You're not match making yourself. You're being match made. That's not boss moves. You are not a boss. Bob Arum is your boss. BFTB. Shout out to the LDBC. And I'm out.